Nobody saw it coming. It was 4.31 in the morning. But what if they had? 57 people killed, thousands injured in 1994's Northridge quake. 6.7 in magnitude. Would a few seconds warning have made a difference? A scalpel can be lowered during surgery. A train could be stopped. It could next time. LA's residents alerted of an incoming shake direct to their phones. This place is on a constant state of alert. Seismologists fully expect what has been nicknamed the big one at any time, potentially way bigger than what we saw in Northridge. And it is long overdue. So what better way to get our attention than via the devices we spend our lives glued to? The app called Shake Alert LA, available on iPhone and Android. This earthquake represents what we would call the big one. Developed by the city of LA, sending warnings by push notifications, the kind you get with emails or news alerts, and using open source data given out by USGS. Across the West Coast, we're installing 1,675 seismic stations. The seismic stations are the devices that pick up the earthquake when it reaches the surface. Your sensors basically say, there's shaking coming, here's the information, do with it what you will. That's right, and we want people to do whatever they can with it. Wendy Yost is a major earthquake survivor, twice over. I've been through two. I, I like to say that I've had my lifetime fill. San Francisco in 1989, Northridge four years later. Putting yourself in that situation now, you get 15 seconds warning. What would you do? If I had 15 second warning in either of the earthquakes that I was a part of, I probably would have gotten to a public space faster. Deep in the bowels of the University of California, Los Angeles, they run earthquake simulations. Here, testing how concrete walls would hold up. They are big fans of the early warning system, but no, it won't mean equal warning for all. Where earthquake early warning is most effective is when the source, where the fault is rupturing, is far away from the site that, it, that we're concerned about. And so California waits for the big one, hoping the devices that make life increasingly convenient one day help save lives from another one of these. Phil Lavelle, CGTN, Los Angeles.